So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks uh, Vanguard set. If you guys don't know, we already looked at the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. And we've already done the Hunter and Titan video. They're both right here as well. So definitely check those videos out. In this video, we're going to be taking individual pieces from the Vanguard set and then making individual sets from those pieces. So you be basically what we did in the Hunter and Titan video. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help a lot. But other than that, yeah, we're going to be looking at this. I'm really excited because there's some really cool pieces here. So let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet for the Vanguard piece. And then for the exotic, we're going to be using the getaway artist with the Aaron Swagger ornament. So this one is kind of a remix of a set that I made with the Sublime Robes. It's just using almost literally different pieces for everything else. <laughs> but for the hump or the boots, the Thunderhead boots, and then for the Bond, we're going to be using the actual Vanguard piece. So this one's really cool. Um, we're using Iron Bone because Iron Bone is just such a dope shader when you want to have a really cool like really dark leather look for your cloth but yeah i really have not not a lot to talk about because again this is kind of a remix of a sublime or not yeah the sublime set that i made for the sublime video if you guys haven't seen it i'll have it up right now unfortunately i can't have a link for it because the four first four videos that i posted already took those so if you guys want to look that up just write sublime in my channel and most likely all of the sublime stuff should be popping up but yeah this one is pretty cool definitely not my favorite it's cool it's just there's a few problems with it um first and foremost i'm not the biggest fan of iron bone when it comes to armor and this one has quite a bit of armor so i probably would just switch a shader out that has a really good combo with the helmet and the chest piece i think that would be way better um i also don't like getaway artists with this honestly there's a few problems with this the only reason i like the helmet with the chest piece is because it gives off more of an officer vibe uh like a specifically more like a military officer vibe so I would most likely put like Rain of Fire would probably be a little bit better maybe, but yeah, I would probably just go back to the drawing board with this one and go for more of a militaristic uh, officer just because that's the how that's the vibe that the helmet gives me and the chest piece as well. So that's what I would go back and see if I can find a good exotic for that. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, this is going to be funny considering we're using Nezarek Sin the exotic and then the robes of Nezarek, which is funny because I probably didn't expect myself to do this ever. But for the arms, obviously we're gonna be using the Vanguard piece. For the boots, boots of the Great Hunt, and then I like the empty bond for the bond. For the shadering, royal treatment is what we're using because A, I really like this shader when it comes to like purple and gold but it also really looks good with the elective the empty bond and it also looks really good with robes of the nezarek when you combine it with nezarek sin because then you have that like gold sheen on the edges of the armor so yeah the other reason is because royal treatment goes really well with the arms because the arms it almost looks like he's wearing rings but it's not really rings it's just um the knuckles which i think is really cool so yeah I, when i first saw these arms i was like i kind of want to combine this with like something like something i don't know it's so hard to explain but like it looks really good for the nezarek chess piece which is why i went with it and i honestly think this is probably the best piece from the whole set if i'm being honest like i think this was just super dope so let me know what you guys think about this one <clears throat> <clears throat> as for the next <laughs> as for the next set uh this is funny considering this is almost a one-to-one -one from the sublime set that i made it's just that we're using technologic gloves instead of the other ones so for the chest piece wall watched robes for the helmet we're going to be using the apothesis veil for the boots sublime boots and then for the bond technologic bond for the shader and gamekeeper is what we're using and honestly i would honestly just switch out the shader for something else and then maybe the boots for something else and have no bond here and it would be different enough where i'll be like okay like i could use use this and not feel bad but i kind of feel bad because it's literally just the same set with just different arms and the only reason i switched the arms out is because the next set uses those arms and i wanted that set to use those arms so it's i don't know it's just too much like i i honestly should have just switched the if i'm being quite honest i should have just used the chess piece for a new set but i just wanted to utilize this one again because uh at the time i was just making so much content that i was like trying to push out everything as fast as i could but don't get it twisted the chest piece is so good that i legitimately just give me five minutes and i would be able to just make something else because the chest piece is that good so definitely tell me what y'all think about the chest piece and then last but not least we have eye of another world for the exotic and then for the actual piece from the vanguard set we're going to be using the boots 
So for this one, it's pretty funny considering that the contender gloves is what we're using, inspector robes, and then Skaldic Chant Bond. So this is funny because there's a few shaders here. Uh, first and foremost, War Break for pretty much everything because I love the fact that the War Break gives off the off color is red. It's such a deep red. It's my favorite red. And for the arms, Gift of the Nine and then Rivalry Black Sand for the Bond specifically to turn those to white because I ended up deciding if the basically the, the shoes are all white, then I'm going to want white as well so that way I can even it out. And I think it looks really, really cool. The only unfortunate part is... <clears throat> it's the chest piece is asymmetrical one side is heavier than the other side but i think the bond evens it out a little bit which is why i was like i don't really care too much because the bond will even it out which i think it does so i really like this set now granted i know some people are going to be like if you just switched out two more shaders it would have been i don't care about that i've explained this already and i will be making a video of my fashion rules because i do have my own fashion rules that i go by but that's one rule that i don't really care to follow because i just I think it I think it's cool but I, if people are like I always use different shaders then it's like well why why are you limiting yourself especially since like sometimes sometimes it's just like oh I just need to combine the same color with the same it's I don't it's it's a flex for sure but I also just think like if it if I want to do it it's because I want to do it not because it's my rule and I have to follow it because using one shader is just bad like that's just that's a weird mindset um stop it so let me know what you guys think. I really like a lot of these sets. If I'm being quite honest, though, I think the Nezarek Sin one just looks a, a lot better. Like, honestly, it's one of my favorite sets that I made just because a lot of pieces look really, really good together. Um, <clears throat> not saying the other sets are really bad by any means. It's just like the first one needs some tweaking to make it a little bit better. The third one, honestly, I would just bear it or uh, like break it down to just the chess piece and do something else with it because... The chest piece is really that good and the last one i think is really good as well that being said i have used i have a, I, have, I have another world with the inspector rose before is it better than this i don't know i think this one is really cool though so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all i'm i don't actually don't know what i'm going to be posting after this because i think this is the last video technically that's going to be po be posted um specifically because this should be coming out tuesday the 10th <clears throat> which means that's a Tuesday, which tomorrow will most likely have the the, vid, the the weekly video. So like the challenges of week 15, I think it's called. And then after that, I legitimately don't know what I'm going to be doing. Most likely, I'll by that time, hopefully I'll be, have uh, the Final Fantasy, like all of the other games fashions video done or before that, most likely. But by that time, hopefully I'll have it done and then we'll just start covering other games. And then that at that point, my time will really be... Uh, it, it, my time will not be that much anymore is what i'm trying to say but yeah let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later